Hey, this is Stan with Spitfire Management, and I've accepted quite a challenge today to create a project in under four minutes in both the Spitfire project management software and the Acumatica Cloud ERP system. I better get started right away, and I've already taken the liberty of being logged in where I can click right here to start creating a new project. That opens up our project setup screen and I have to pick a customer and, a, and project manager. And it's a good thing the two systems are integrated so that I know that when I pick my customer and when I pick my project manager that they are indeed the same person in both systems. I need to do a couple of attributes that Spitfire will use for a few things I'll describe in, in a moment, but it's important to pick the right division so that it knows where to go over the, in the accounting software. When I click Save, all the attributes on this project screen are going to be used to do, create the project in Spitfire and Acumatica and do things like select the project team because people tend to work together on a project. And I can, of course, edit the team, adding people as necessary. But you can see the budget is zero. Everything in the KPI section is all blank and zero. Spitfire knows we're going to be needing a budget, so it created a placeholder for us. And it's true as well that just about all budgeting is, uh, and we're estimating, is done with Excel at some point. So Spitfire uses a really fancy uh, Excel tool to work with the budget. But while that opens up, I'm going to add a picture to our project because that's always fun. And there we go, our little power station, green power. The BFA budgeting tool is ready, and I'll just click on the Import Wizard button to go and grab an estimate workbook someone prepared for us. The mapping file is all set. It gives us a quick preview. And in just a couple of seconds, I get to see the very detailed budget, which I'll collapse to a work breakdown view. And we can see the, the budget summarized in a few lines. And I'll save not to a network share or something where it can get lost, but that got shaved to the Spitfire catalog associated with the project forever. Um, it normally would be routed around, but today we're just going to go ahead and approve it since I've only got four minutes. Keep an eye on those KPIs down as I save it, uh, the budget approved, and you'll see that the numbers start to fill in. Likewise, I'm going to take a quick trip over back to the project setup screen where it has detected the budget, and I just need to tell it that I've dotted the I's and crossed the T's. This is the amount we're going to get paid for the project. And likewise, watch the setups, the, the KPI in the background there. All right. Again, now we're even more done. We have um, the project created in Spitfire. All that's really left to do is to go see what's going on in the accounting system. How do I go about doing that? Well, it's really easy. I have this menu here on the project dashboard in Spitfire that has a link to the accounting system. That link opens up Acumatica and takes us right to the project. I'm going to start to make the screen smaller and switch to the employees so that we can see it's the same employees on both systems automatically for me. And I'll switch briefly to the tasks where we can see the work breakdown structures and then to the balances. Once I get things organized, you'll see the same 2.94 uh, million amount on both systems, the same breakdown of equipment, labor, and, ma and materials. Uh, on both systems. So there you have it. We've created the project. It's in both systems, all ready to go with a budget. So that's it. Thanks for joining me.